make it over this? This video picks up where we left off at the Pelican Bay Anchorage. This is by far the best anchorage we have found on the southern Gulf Coast of Florida. There are a lot of protected beaches and small islands to explore. You can get water at the state park but there are no facilities to get groceries or fuel for your boat. We spent three or four days exploring Pelican Bay Anchorage. Our next stop is Captiva Island. This shows the exact location of the Pelican Bay Anchorage. Here is the route we took to get from Pelican Bay Anchorage to Captiva Island. This is also where we ran aground. The entrance to this anchorage, as well as the anchorage in general, is only five to six feet deep. This is where we anchored next to Captiva Island. We didn't stay here very long, only one night. It took us a while to find a spot deep enough to anchor. Right here we are sitting in about five feet of water, just off the canal. The next day we headed south again towards Fort Myers Beach. There was a lot of boat traffic and the wind was on the nose. There wasn't much room for sailing. Whenever we were able to get enough wind angle and still stay in the channel, we always rolled out the head sail. Right here, we are motor sailing through an area called the Miserable Mile. It's the very first mile of the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway. Once we got under the last bridge, we were able to raise both sails and sail for a good part of the day.
We made it to our winter berth in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. The next several videos that I'll be posting will be of boat projects. LED lights and an electric toilet are on the list. Subscribe and be sure to comment with any questions.